what are inversions i think inversions are easier ways to play chords in a chord progression or inversions are easier ways to play chord in a progression for example this is the f chord f major chord an inversion of f major chord is to play it like this this is the first inversion because you took the first note of F and you brought it down. So the former note was this. This is F, um, A, and C notes, right? But we take away the F and we'll bring it down here. So we're still playing F, A, C, but different arrangement. Because we took away the first note, it is what the first inversion. If we take away this second note, which is an A, and play the A down here, this is also an F, but this is the second inversion of F. Another way to see it is this. So this is F. When you take the last one and bring it down here, it is the second inversion. Right, if you take C now and bring it here, this is the second inversion of F. And when you take this and bring it here, it becomes what? The first inversion of F. That's another way to see it. Now, inversions, are, right now, you would, in your mind, think that this is easier to play than this. Sorry, than this. Uh, you, you, you might be right, but uh, when it comes to chord progression, uh, the inversions are easier to play because this is not just you holding a chord down progression means you are moving between different chords and inversions shorten the distance between chords on a piano for example i always like to use mary had a little lamb because it's one of the easiest songs in the world to play let's play mary had a little lamb mary had a little lamb a little lamb a little lamb mary had a little lamb it Place was white as snow. So we jump from uh, do to la to so. If we were using chord progression, watch me, let me come here. This is a do, right? Mary had a little lamb, a little lamb, a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its place was white as snow. So all we did, instead of jumping to the 6, all we did is do, then, this is La. This is uh, the, the first inversion of La because I took this from here. Alright, so, then So, because I took this from here. Um, right? Like uh, we're not getting the right sound, but watch when I do it this way. Mary had a little lamb, a little lamb, a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. So that's it, it sounds just proper. And the distance between my fingers have reduced. You can imagine, instead of jumping from here to here, all I did was I just changed the last finger, just these two finger changing. These two. One, two. Watch me. Mary had a little lamb. Then all I had to do to go to five is move everything backwards by one. Little lamb. Little lamb. Can you see the distance between five and one? From five, little lamb. All I had to do was move these two fingers here, right? Little lamb. And if I wasn't inverting, I would have jumped from here all the way to here. And one of the benefits of inversion is that it reduces the chances of mistake because it, re it reduces the distance you have to jump. 
the more you have to jump, the, the higher your chances of hitting the wrong notes. So inversions reduce that. And after a while, you get so used to the inver uh, how your inversion moves to your fingers that you stop looking at that hand and you can focus on your left hand because your right hand knows what to do. Right? Okay. Okay, the second example I will use is Happy Birthday to You. Let me play the original root position of Happy Birthday to You. Happy Birthday to you. One, five. Happy Birthday to you. That's do, so, so, do chord, right? Happy Birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. So, I do, so, so, do, do, fa, so, do. That's the chord for happy birthday to you. Now, watch me use a chord inversions to play it. Happy birthday to you. Now, this is the so, first inversion of so. Remember, this is from here. And all I have to do from one to five is just to move these two fingers backwards. Although I switched this last finger to this. So, to you. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So, this is the second version of fa. Instead of jumping, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh. To this far in front, all I had to do was happy birthday, happy birthday. Or I could as well do happy birthday, happy birthday. Although that is uh, quite a jump as well, but you could do that. So happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Inversions. Happy birthday, happy birthday. You could as well do happy birthday to you. Or you do happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. So here what we did, we used the word. We used the second inversion of fa, which made us use the second inversion of so to you. But you could as well use the first inversion. Happy Happy birthday, happy birthday. This is the first inversion of fa. Then happy birthday to you. You could use any one. I always prefer the first inversion because it's closer to the left hand. And the closer your notes are to the left hand, the richer it sounds, right? Unless you're trying to solo. Um, basically, that's how to use inversions to play those simple songs. I hope uh, you understand what that means. Now, some exercises you can do to help uh, train yourself for learning inversion uh, is this. So, this is how I hold my do. My one, two, four finger. If you hold your do like me, then the simplest exercise you can do is to play your do, fa, do, so. It helps you, your finger memorize the position, its positions whenever you want to play inversions in that shape. Right, because the most important thing about inversion, playing inversion, is to remember the shape of your hand whenever you are playing the, the the first and the second inversion. For example, this is the shape of my hand whenever it's in root position. Now, this is the shape of my hand whenever it's playing the second inversion, right? And this is the shape of my hand when it's playing the first inversion. I know the shape. I don't have to think about the notes. I just have to know the shape and move my hand there. Yep. So remember the shape. So this is the exercise. One. That's two. Yes. That's three. Yes. That's four. So you do it 20 times every day with your right hand. And in a week's time, you would have gotten used to knowing the, how your hand changes whenever you want to go to any inversion. So much so that you'll be able to apply it to other chords. Right? That's how to teach your fingers the position of the different inversions you have. But if you, if you don't hold the chord like this, 
right? Because take note, I use my one, two, four. Then when I did this, I switched to my one, three, five fingers. Then back to one, two, four. Back to one, three, one, two, five. One, two, four, one, three, five. One, two, four, one, two, five. That's if you hold it like this. But if you hold your chord like this, most likely because you you were taught this when you were a child, because by, most children don't have big hands, so they are taught to hold your chords like this. But if you're an adult learning the piano, you should hold your chord like this, my suggestion. So if you, if you know how to hold your chord like this, all you do is you, this is one, three, five, you expand your one, three, five, and use it again. Right? Then bring it back. One, three, five. Then one, two, one, two, five. One, three, five. One, three, five. One, three, five. One, two, five. So that's it about because people always have issues with finger positions. You should know that this is your number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Lastly, the exercise you can do to get your placement of all the inversions of a particular chord is by playing the different inversions this way. So this is the Do inversion, Do chord inversion, which is the C major chord. So you play around it this way. Go to Re. top do that to the bottom that will be counted as one and you do that five times every day and uh, within a week you'll be very good at your inversions and that will be really helpful to your playing chord progressions right um, there's a song I'm working on now which is my God is awesome I'm making a video for it so normally this is how you would play the chord my God is awesome But uh, with inversions, uh, it's quite easy. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Can you see the, the little distance I had to move with inversions? That's the benefit of inversions. And uh, you really want to learn this. It will really, it will really, really, really affect your piano learning journey. So thanks for watching, and I really hope this helps.